and Letty here. Welcome to Hashtag Crafty Goals 2024. I got together with my friend Toby and I made a no rules journal featuring my Valentine by Cardabella. I figured I'd share the project with you. Welcome back everyone. So I'm participating in Hashtag Crafty Goals 2024. This is a collab hosted by Debbie and one of my uh, items to do every month is smash 12 by 12 packs. So I took out this My Valentine by Cardabella. I had most of the 12 by 12 sheets, but then I also brought in some additional sheets. So that's why I'm gonna consider this a full 12 by 12. You can see here, I did use up all of the sticker sheet. And then I did have just a few paper scraps, including one full sheet left over, but I'm still gonna consider this a smash because I plan to use this up in the next few days to make some Valentine time projects so no rules journal that's what I went with as far as what when I spent an afternoon with Toby um, crafting I told her I wanted to do a no rules journal where I basically just do whatever um, and just not have any specific rules or um, requirements and just kind of be free um, so I did do a pamphlet stitch on this and I just tied this together with some just some general little uh, fabric there um, I believe it's like a seam binding um, but I went ahead and I had a ton of fun with this. You see here, I do have a three hole pamphlet stitch. And so that was something that Toby had taught at her recent class that we did at our in-person event. I just tied a little knot right in the middle of my journal. So I was able to get together with Toby. It was such a blast. And if you're not familiar with her channel, she is Biddy Penny here on YouTube. And I was able to make the, the majority of this journal with her. Um, and then I went ahead and finished off some of the decorating. So I had some pockets you see here um, and then I also brought in some graph paper now she was kind enough to bring out some of her supplies when we met and she had a ton of fun papers and things that you'll see throughout this so you see here I did a little uh, journal pocket like a library pocket and I did leave it open on three sides and then I have a little pocket on the inside and then on this one I wanted to add in some white some paper to do some journaling so I went ahead and made it a pocket so I have a place to do some journaling and then a pocket right behind it some white paper I think this was one of Toby's favorite pieces here um, I had glued in a book page but I did it in a way that it would be hinged to the front page and then I wanted to include a envelope but my envelope was like a six by six envelope so I folded it a little bit and you still have a pocket but it is folded so that way it will fit inside of this journal now this journal is I believe a six by nine and so you see here a six by six envelope would be just a little bit too big I did fold or glue the envelope through in three spaces and have a pocket at the very top so I've got another pocket on this next page and then some coloring sheets here and then some white paper and this white paper is a 32 pound white paper I find this just a little heavier than my regular copy paper so I love it better and then I did bring in tons of book pages and this one had a little bit of torn edges so I wanted to kind of reinforce it with a branding strip that's all that is I glued that branding strip from the bottom of my paper and glued it right on top now I did bring in some more sticker paper here and I just added some little doodle lines, left a spot at the top because I wanted to put a picture. This was one of the sheets that she had in her stash. It said on toward the goal. And this was just a regular book page, but I thought that was perfect to use just to list out some goals and things. So I thought that would be perfect. Um, and then this one, I brought in a sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper. I tri folded it. So I, I folded it in three even or pretty much even areas and then or segments. And then what I did was instead of gluing it all the way down, I actually created a pocket with the bottom layer so I only glued it on three sides now if I find out that this is not sturdy enough I can always come back and add some ad adhesive to the inside section and glue that down but I thought this was just a fun spin on adding a fold out um, I added some tea dyed or coffee dyed paper this was from Toby she had made this and I, I believe it's probably tea dyed because she loves tea um, but it could also be coffee dyed and so I she had given me these sheets and I went ahead and added them in as well I did a little banner on some of these pages and then what I did was I did a sort of a flip out and I also did a tuck spot at the very top section of this sort of flip out. I did bring in some Maggie Holmes paper. So you'll see here, some of this is Maggie Holmes. You probably um, recognize it. I did a, a flip out, but then an additional flip out on top of that. Added some area for journaling spot and then some additional book paper just to give it some fun decoration. Some more of this tea dyed paper, some more of my copy paper. Um, and then I also did another little scrap here. I had seen Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing do that sometimes. And so I went ahead and throw that, threw that in as well. And then I wanted to have tons of pocket spaces. So you see here, I added a sort of library card, a large one. I had two pockets, but then I glued it on three sides to have an additional tuck spot behind. And I believe I was inspired by Debbie on that because she puts a ton of little pockets and tuck areas in her projects. So on the bottom, I had also seen Sarah do these sort of flip up things 
things where you extend the page and that's exactly what I did here. I extended it and then I have a little sticker at the bottom, happy Valentine's Day. So this journal will be for me. Um, I just wanted to have something super fun to use. Here's another thing I think was inspired by Debbie. So I put a fold out paper, but in order to secure it, I did glue this cut, uh, cut apart at the bottom just to kind of have a little tuck in area here. So, and then here's another little partial paper here. Just another way to use those scraps and then again some more white paper so i wanted to have plenty of areas to journal i wanted a little journal just to dot, jot down things to list things to doodle to do whatever and so again this one will be for me um, i just really wanted to have a fun space in the month of february to just really have you know a crafty outlet for myself and so this was going to be super fun to kind of fill in i can add some pictures or, or, or journal or do whatever i really want to i added some additional scrap pages here um added a little sticker cluster and then i did leave some of the sheets by themselves this was another maggie holmes one um and then i did add some more little journal areas so what i did was i took out a sheet of sticker paper and then i just started cutting it down and then that's what i was able to kind of glue on here um as well as some of the regular white paper so i have more of those coloring sheets i have another pocket with some more of these cut aparts and I just added them in just to kind of remind me that they're cut aparts I mean that they are pockets um because I can always change this out later I have another cut apart at the bottom and it's a tuck spot again this is just something that I see everybody do and then I also added some additional sticker paper just a lot of area for me to just really have fun and journal and it's a pretty thick little journal but I'm super pleased with it another pocket at the very end and I have some scraps including a scrap from that Maggie Holmes paper that I figured I could just write on and so that is tuck into the back and so this is just a super fun journal I called it no rules because I did not follow anything specifically I just wanted to have fun and not really think about it and not overthink it Toby had also let me pick some stamps from her stash so I pulled these out that was very gracious of her thank you so much Toby I pulled them out I figured I would add them in as I journal so I'm going to keep that with this journal this this coming month and then again I just pulled out a piece of like seam binding um fabric kind of thing and then I'm I went ahead and just tied a little little loose knot right over it I've seen Toby Toby do this multiple times and so this was just again my little no rules journal nothing fancy um, but I figured it would be fun for me to keep track of things in February and again that was for hashtag crafty goals 2024 because I want to smash paper as much as I can but 12 packs and six by sixes um, and then this was the My Valentine collection by Cardabella. I had shown it in my last video. So thanks again, to Toby, for allowing me to come and craft with you and get inspired by you and just all of the inspiration that you put on your channel. Make sure you check her out if you haven't already. Happy crafting.